Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with card sketch challenge number 12. This time we're sending a happy birthday. I'm going to be doing a bit of die cutting and a bit of stamping. Here's everything that I've used. So there's the ink, stamps, dies, acrylic block. The dies, by the way, are by Julie Hickey Designs. They're a fabulous um, font and they cut really well. These are the two papers that I've chosen. They come from the Bloom and Wonder set from first edition. As ever, first thing that I'm going to do is make the card. So from a sheet of card, I'm cutting it down to eight by six. That will give me my six by four card. If you are just joining me on card sketch challenge number 12, I did a hundred of these last year and I'm going to be doing 50 of these this year. Obviously 11 are already out. So please do have a, a search back through the channel, find the playlist and have a watch. I can't say you like them all, but hopefully they will give you a few ideas here and there. I'm chopping down the layers now according to the layout which you can grab and by grab I mean download from my website gentlemancrafter.com There's a whole bunch of stuff there you know it's been going quite a few years not entirely sure how long I'll keep it going to be honest I'm 50 next year <laughs> Anyway, I actually made a bit of a boo-boo when I was cutting these papers. I had meant to use the darker paper last, as in, um, as the bigger layer. But because I didn't cut that correctly initially, I've switched it around and used the lighter one. And I actually quite like it. So work with your happy accidents, not against them. Just cutting the little strip that's noted on the layout. So that's there, everything that's listed on the layout. What else I've done is gone ahead and cut a piece of cardstock so that I can cut these letters out. They spell happy when rearranged correctly. Oh, we could play anagrams with these. I'm sure somebody will come up with the word boobs. Um, anyway, using the pin flare book binding glue to secure all of the layers down. I should come up with a new catchphrase for this, but I can't think of one. Can you? Let me know in the comments below the video. It's the glue for you. Hmm. It's a bit rubbish. Anyway, the reason that I like it is because it's fast, sticky, and goes a long way. Hmm. I'm glad I didn't use those three words at the start of my videos. <laughs> fast, sticky, and goes a long way. What could that even mean? Anyway, using the gridded ruler here to make sure those are lined up, making sure everything's firmly stuck down and then the little pink strip now I've been working portrait as I've been going here but my intention actually is to do this card as a landscape card just to mix things up a bit so as you can see you've got plenty of space there where you could put any kind of die cut or, or embellishment and then use that side panel thing as a sentiment strip. In this case I chose to cut out these big letters, use them to spell happy. I'm having a P first, using the P first, because that's the letter that would be in the center. That way I can jiggle things around either side in case I make any errors. Thank you. 
with this one though, happy, you could put in anything really. Happy anniversary, happy birthday, happy Mondays. There's a few of you that will get that joke. Um, yeah. I should remind you, although you're probably sick of me saying it, please do remember to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, as you'll get notifications of more of these card sketch challenges along with all of the other crafty things that I do. Okay, time for a bit of stamping. I'm using the word birthday here. And I thought I'd got out the slim acrylic block, but I couldn't see it because it's clear. Those of you with good eyesight will notice that it's actually at the top of the screen sitting on my black ink pad. I didn't realize until I'd finished making this video. The first ink pad that I used was rubbish. So I reached for some others. My intention was a bit of an ombre effect, but I realized a landscape ombre wasn't going to give me much room for the ombre effect, but I tried it anyway. Um, and I did also find some kind of random thing fell on my ink, so I don't know what it was. So I scraped it off and started again. Anyway, um, quick test print there. I was okay with it. I thought I'd try a couple more. As I had the strip of card there, um, I thought I'd just try a few more just so I can then decide. I'm not sure what possessed me to scrape off some ink with an ink pad, but I did. I really should get more professional with these voiceovers, shouldn't I really? It's just random waffle. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, tell me to shut up. I won't take events. Okay, so just giving that a quick heat set with my heat tool. As it's pigment ink, it's slow drying, so I didn't want to risk smudging. And then with my tiny delicate scissors, actually these, these were my fabric scissors, they are definitely not anymore because I have cut metal with them. I've cut a card. <gasps> Shocking. Anyway, with my tiny delicate scissors, I trim that down. Trimmed also a foam pad. Stuck that to the back of the sentiment. Peeled off the what's it and stuck it in place. Now you could add all sorts of bits and pieces to this, but I chose to leave it clean and simple. And bish bash bosh, job done. There's card sketch challenge number 12. Thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing what you make.